just look at this this is an application that was fully developed by a couple of prompts with the help of databootin this is an application where you can simply upload your images or videos and the ai will analyze key moments objects and details further in detail you have video tagging image tagging you have real-time streaming tagging as well as having the ability to store all your videos and images this is a fully functional full stack application that was built with the help of databootin a few weeks back we covered databootin a revolutionary full stack development tool which is the world's first fully ai driven app developer it's designed to help you build and launch any product within days and not weeks databootin acts as a collaborative partner turning your vision into reality while assisting with coding and problem solving. It specializes in AI application as it empowers you to create tools like chat experiences, AI workflows, and personalized communication systems with fully full stack apps built on React and Python with fast API. The platform also introduces true conversational agentic building, allowing iterative discussion before code generation for precise and efficient outcomes. With a fully customizable Python backend, it supports building any API using any Python package. There's a one-click deployment to custom domains and a simplified scaling and infrastructure management, while intuitive navigation and dedicated engineer support, which is going to ensure a smooth path to successful app launches. Now, the first thing that might come to your head is why not just use Bolt.new? Well, the main reason why you would want to use DataButton is because it focuses on building and deploying full stack SaaS applications. It focuses on building end to end applications, whereas Bolt.new targets fast prototyping and building simple apps quite quickly. So, if you want to start building professional SaaS grade apps with advanced customization, robust backend capabilities, and scalable deployment, you would want to choose DataButton. But let's get started and showcase how you can get started with DataButton. What I want you guys to do is take a look at the link in the description below to head over to data button and I want you guys to click on get started and create an account either with your Google account with GitHub or even with your email address. Once you sign up you're going to be then sent over to the main dashboard of data button. This is where you can easily get started by clicking on new app and you can then specify and describe your application by providing an app name, pitching your idea in one sentence, adding a description, a target audience, a UI library that you can choose either ShatCN or even Tailwind. You can also have a main screen size, whether that's for desktop or even mobile or even a tablet. You can also have a default theme, whether that's light, dark, or even for based off of your system. And you can even have design guidelines like styling the preference, your branding elements. So there we go. The app that I'm gonna be creating is Tasky AI. It's a seamless AI powered app that automates task management for busy professionals. I provided a description saying that it's an intelligent task management app that helps users organize, prioritize, and automate their daily workflows. I specified my target audience, professionals, remote workers. I have selected the UI library as well as provided a design guideline. Once you have specified all of this, you can simply go ahead and click on generate the starting point with AI. This is where it's gonna initialize the app extract design guidelines, generate a plan, and then write the code. So we're gonna go ahead and have this fully generate. And there we go. You will then be sent over to the builder, and this is where it's gonna start on generating the code. This is with the help of various agents that are gonna be starting to take on your plan. So the code is now fully generated, and this is the application that I was capable of generating. And just look at the app that I was capable of generating. It's quite responsive, really modern, and this was something that was fully generated within a couple of seconds, which is quite impressive. Now, this is something that we're gonna iterate further and make it even more functional. Now, on the left-hand panel, this is where you're gonna be able to manage all the different states of your app. You have your pages, the home page, you have the UI components, which are gonna be displayed here, the UI files, the backend, the media, and internal storage. With uh, data button, you're going to be able to configure and build off of everything that is stated over here with a couple of prompts. Now, if you take a look at view tasks, this is where you're going to be able to manage your task list, the to-do list, as well as the things that are in progress. Now, if you are to go back, 
you're going to be able to explore on the right hand panel the chat panel and this is where you can chat with your ai to build further on with this design or this iteration what i really like about data button is that you have a lot of flexibility you can configure the previous settings of your app detail you can change the design or theme add an agent adding a favicon you can even provide different agent guidelines and instructions and you can even invite other team members to help you collaborate on this in terms of extensions you can also add various extensions like even firebase authentication and you can even reference their documentation to assist you with this now if you want to edit your theme you can also do this on the left hand panel now let's go ahead and improve on this further let's go ahead and ask it what i should do to further improve this now another cool feature i want to mention while it's doing this is that you have this terminal where you're going to be able to see all the commands being executed and say if you are to get an error there's actually this fix error button which will help you resolve any errors that you detect within the terminal and if you are to go back to our previous prompt to ask it what i should do to further improve this we can go over to view task and we can see that all the tasks that it has to basically implement and make this app even better the first one is as a user i want to create a fast api api for the task management so that i can manage tasks effectively so let's go ahead and provide an api key and start working on this so to do so we can just simply go ahead and click start task and then it's going to focus on generating the component for this so you can see while it is generating it is adding different components and different tasks to each of the different blocks for example for the back end it's focusing on creating the task management list it is also focusing on internal storage and then you can see it is autonomously doing all of this so it looks like it has finished focusing on the back end it has fully coded out and now it's going to focus on creating the next component which is where it's going to create a task page with the list view adding forms for creating and adding tasks for the intelligent task management app and it's going to focus on doing all of this now while connecting it to the back end and you can see that it is doing all of this autonomously without me even doing anything so it looks like it has finished generating the functionality of the app so you can actually go over to the task page and you're going to be able to view this let this load up and there we go we have the task management app list where you can add a new task so you can specify let's say i need to make a youtube video today so i can specify youtube description make a video by the 10th of the month and then we can have a priority as high and then we can click on create task so there we go we have this functional task management uh, list that is fully working and we can see that it was capable of doing this within a couple of minutes and you can clearly see how easy it is for you to focus on a specific section and then have the ai fully functionally create the right components that are needed to build it out it not only creates the front end components but it also links it to your back end and then once you are finished you can view it on different sorts of previews either on mobile or even tablet as well as desktop and you can also edit the code so if you do not like a current section or you would want to manually do it you can do this as well but once you are finished with everything you have done you can then click on deploy and then you can basically add a username and then you can have it so that it is easily deployed through a domain this is where you can then have it named whatever you would want so i'm gonna name it tasky ai i can then deploy the app within this link or you can deploy it to a custom domain after deployed you can then access your app via the link that was deployed through data button and that's how you can easily build a full stack application with the help of this beautiful app called data button now this is something that i truly recommend that you take a look at if you're wanting to build a professional SaaS grade app with advanced customization robust backend capabilities and a scalable deployment i'll leave all the links in the description below highly recommend that you take a look at this as you can easily build anything you would want to describe make sure you follow me on the patreon so that you can stay up to date with the latest ai news as well as following up with different types of ai subscriptions that are given on a monthly basis Follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.